All right, today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the Gillette Pro Glide Power, which is a vibrating five blade razor, and the Gillette Skin Guard, which is just a two blade razor, but it's got these plastic blocks in so that you can only push so far against your skin. It keeps you from going too deep with the blades. It's mainly for people who get their skin irritated easily, get uh, ingrowing hairs and stuff too easily, and uh, it's just for a more comfortable shave and to keep your skin from getting as irritated. I just want to see how it compares to something like a five blade razor, but I'm going to go with the skin guard razor first, just to try to get a smoother shave with it. I always shave with the gray and then against the gray, I always rinse my razor under hot water to try to open up my pores with it. I mean, you can, this is guaranteed gonna be a more comfortable shave. The problem is you, you can press fairly hard with it and it's not gonna let the razor sink into your skin. The main complaint with it, of course, is that you don't get as close of a shave, but uh, I do highly recommend it for people with sensitive skin, because it really keeps you from tearing up your skin with those razors. Which, in my opinion, with the Gillette five blade razors, you get a close shave and you don't really tear up your skin anyways. But something like the Harry's razors or whatever, I'm not a big fan of them. Especially the Harry's razors, they tear up your skin pretty easily. I already went with the grain with this razor because it's so comfortable. You can go fairly quick with it. I'm going to go against the grain now, see how close of a shave I get. The first time I used it, I actually had to go over my neck a little bit with my Gillette Pro Glide Power. Seems like you have to rinse this one more to constantly keep the shaving cream or whatever off of it so that you can get a, a close enough shave. But I mean, if you're happy with a tiny bit of five o'clock shadow and you want a more comfortable shave, the Skin Guard is definitely the razor for you. the shaving cream off to get a close enough shave with the skin guard. Well, it looks like that's as good as I'm going to get with the skin guard. Um, it is as comfortable as it gets. I don't know if you can see in the video, though I do still have some 5 o'clock shadow. It just doesn't get as close of a shave as a... It just feels stubble everywhere. But it's a comfort over a close shave. Now I'm going to switch over to the Gillette Pro Glide Power. One thing I have learned with the Pro Glide Power is you have to shave kind of slow to get the full benefit fit of the vibration. But if you do, you really don't have to make as many passes. I feel like with the five blade razors you can press down fairly hard anyways. Because the layer of five blades is going to keep it from sinking in. I mean it's just barely more uncomfortable than the skin guard anyways. Especially this part with my neck, it's never gets tore up with this razor because I don't have to press that hard. And I can still just go over it nice and slow and get a really close shave as opposed to the five o'clock shadow that the skin guard razor is going to leave behind.
Let me rinse off real quick and I'll give you my final critique. All right, I'm all rinsed off and uh, just a tiny bit of stubble with the skin guard razor, so. The winner is definitely the Gillette Pro Glide Power. The only way I would use the Gillette Skin Guard is for what it's designed for people with sensitive skin. Normal shavers, you you are definitely not gonna wanna use this because it just doesn't get a close enough shave. Might not even get as close as an ele good electric shaver. Be a 50-50 between those two, but uh, the uh, this is definitely not the better razor for a closer shave.